Hello, Jelani. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. As always, we will begin with the first question from Sarah Spencer. That's a tall mic, y'all. <laughs> sure. Hey, Trey. Um, hey, Trey. Um, so I saw a little athletic tape on your um, shoulder. Can you just kind of walk me through what's going on with your, your right shoulder? Yeah, um, I got a hit last game, and it's been kind of sore. Um, it's gotten, gotten a little bit sore over the past couple of days. So, uh, uh, Nate, Nate just hit me. He said y'all asked me about it, too. And uh, I, told him I, I told him I wasn't going to tell nobody anyways uh, about the training staff because I was going to play tonight. So it was, it was just, just a little sore. So the take up. Um, could you could you feel it uh, affect you at all at the at the start of the game? It seemed like you got off to maybe a little bit of a, a slower start. Like was it was it bothering you? Uh, it, it was just kind of for me. Not it wasn't a bother. It was just kind of fighting through it. Um, knowing knowing it was kind of sore. Uh, just trying to work it out, keep it warm throughout the game. Um, that that's really pretty much what it was. I I, I mean my, I'm not not blaming my shooting on a. Uh, of my arm. Um, I feel like I had a lot of good looks and I, the shots just, just weren't going in and um, I got I to gotta be better at knocking down my shots. Next question from Chris Kirschner. Hey, Trey, obviously in the first half, you guys were down by 18 at one point. Uh, what, what can you say about the resilience from the squad? Yeah, I mean, we've been fighting, I mean, all year. We've been fighting all year, and um, this team never gives up. We, uh, no matter what the score is throughout the game, we know it's a long game. Just, the NBA is a it's a long game, and uh, it's a forty eight minute game. And for us, we just um, stay level headed throughout the whole game. Every team's gonna make runs, and so for us, we just I love the way we fight, and uh, I'm proud of proud of our team tonight. Is that Klein? This team shot a little over 30% for the game, as you mentioned, down 18. How'd you win this? Our defense. Our defense. I mean, you don't you don't shoot that bad and shoot that poorly and, and still win the game if you don't play good defense. And uh, we played really good defense, and we took care of the ball. Uh, only four turnovers. Um, I mean, that's big time for us. And uh, I think that's a big reason why, why we won, because, I mean, even though we, we shot 30%, um, in both categories, uh, we had over 100 possessions, and um, that's that's big for us. We got a lot of a lot of guys who can make plays. So when you have that many possessions, um, and keep keep the ball on your side and at least get up a shot, uh, it's it's going to work out more times than not. Steve Hummer. Yeah, Trey. So what is uh, what is Nate's reaction when you take off your warm up and he you sees your your shoulder taped up? Yeah, yeah. He kind of gave me a look like Nate. <laughs> he was. He didn't know he didn't know about it, but I mean, I, I told him we're fine, we're good. We, we, let's go play, let's go win. So, well, the fact that you uh, you played uh, so well down the stretch, did that indicate at all that it was loosening up? Or yeah, I mean, I, I was it's all off adrenaline at that point. I'll probably feel it. I'm feeling it a little bit more right now, and I'll probably feel it a little bit more tomorrow. But I mean, I'm gonna continue to get treatment on it and stuff like that. So, uh, but in, in the game, in the moment, um, I, I didn't feel it. Is it a bruise or a, or well, how would you well, how would you classify it? Uh, I don't I don't. It's not a bruise on the outside. Maybe on the inside. It's just sore. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, to really explain it to you. I mean, okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Terrell Thomas. Trey, uh, eighteen assists for you tonight. Did you feel like the uh, sh shoulder in the, in the beginning of the game forced you to be more of a facilitator, or were you just kind of going with the flow and the pace of the game? Yeah, like I, like I do every game, I just read what, what the defense is giving me. And uh, they're doing a lot of uh, hedging and trapping. And um, I mean, for me, that's that's fine, it's good. Uh, it's, it's now it's all about making the, the right play and the open pass. And uh, so that, that's really pretty much what, what they did. They were just forcing me to um, really pretty much give up the ball. Thank you. McLean Bexley. Hey, Trey, you know, uh, John Collins came out in the second half and just kind of flipped the switch on both ends. You know, you both were getting the crowd involved, enjoying the moment. You know, how much does his play affect you and the rest of the team when he's in that zone? Yeah, I mean, it, it affects us all. Um, 
just like a long three can affect affect our team in a positive way and get the crowd going and get our team going. Uh, JC dunks and his put back dunks um, are the same way. Um, they're infectious. Um, the way I mean he plays and his energy uh, is big time for us. So we're gonna need him to continue to to bring that energy on both ends. And um, I'm happy with the way he played tonight. He, 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 big reason why we won tonight. And just kind of going off the, the uh, crowd, you know, how 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 does tonight compare to other crowds, you know, whether in college or high school or other pro events you've been in, you know, just the environment tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's tonight, um, this playoff environment has been uh, a lot different than even since I've been here. Um, it's been great. The, the fans have been loud, been cheering. Um, I mean, last game we didn't give them too much of a reason to really cheer, but I mean, all the other games, it's uh, it's been it's been great, and um, they've been they've been very supportive of us and really really pushing us over that edge to give us the momentum that we need to, to take care of home. And that's what we need to continue to do. Hey Trey, congrats on the win. Um, Anyeka, he had about uh, four points, I think, and three rebounds and two blocks, and he played like close to six and a half minutes. What has it been like to see the rookie kind of get that kind of flow going and, and even in just that limited play time, what has it been like? Yeah, it's big time. It's big time for us. And um, I know he's he wants to play more and things like that. And I think Lou has been a great, great addition to that lineup for him and really, really took him over that mentor, um, really telling him where to go, um, telling him where he needs to be on, on both ends. Uh, it's, it's great. Um, oh, it, oh, it's so young. And he's like, he's out there just wanting to do perfect and, and make the right plays. And uh, sometimes he'll just be out of spots just because he just doesn't know yet. And uh, Lou, Lou does a great job of really helping him out. And he, you can tell um, there's been a big difference in, in uh, the way he, he's played since, since Lou got here. So I'm happy with the way he's been going. We'll go last two, first from Christos and then from Brandon Harper. Hey, Trey, congratulations on the win, the performance. Is this win, can, uh, can this win uh, change the whole momentum of that series from your perspective? And how confident you are about game five? Yeah, I mean, any, any win can change momentum and any win can, uh, can spark a team's energy and uh, really get a team going. So hopefully this really uh, gives us a little bit more momentum and, um, and more, uh, I mean, guys are ready, ready to go in to Philly and take care of business. Brandon? Yeah, Trey, uh, great win tonight. Uh, I know Joel is going to do Joel things. And, you know, in that second half, you all kind of flustered him a little bit. He was looking for foul calls. How do you kind of, you know, take the momentum of, you know, attacking him in that second half and bottle it up and take it up to Philadelphia with it? with you so you can maintain that momentum in trying to kind of, you know, keep him off balance, especially in that second half? Yeah, I mean, like um, like with any great players, you're never going to be able to really stop him. Um, tonight, uh, what Clint did and what our team did, but mainly Clint, um, what he did on that end was great, just showing his hands. You know, Joe's, I mean, really good at drawing fouls and getting guys in foul trouble. So making sure he was on the court, being able to play, and staying out of foul trouble was big for us. And um, I mean, uh, hopefully, hopefully we get uh, get that same type of effort. And um, I mean, same same type of energy going into game five against him because uh, I mean, obviously uh, he's going to play a lot harder and a lot better at home. So we got we got to be ready to uh, for Joel and the rest of the team uh, in game five. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate it.